Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos has probably is probably the biggest mm, home theater come up since probably Pologic Z maybe when they first introduced height channels in the top left and right of the front sound stage. It, it was just those two speakers. I wish this window wouldn't take my contrast away. Let's try closing this a little bit. And it just gets too dark. I'm not using the LG, so I don't have the ability to change my camera settings. I'm using an older device. My LG is full of uh, storage stuffers. Anyway, Dolby Atmos. That thing right there. This video is going to talk about, really quickly, but still in-depth, about Dolby Atmos. <laughs> but what about Dolby Atmos? We've heard a lot about it. It's been out for a good little bit. But what we want to talk about is height versus in-ceiling. And as you can see, I have four above the two rears and the two fronts. And they're powered by... The amplifier itself, and then my fronts are bi wired, powered from the Emotiva 150 watts going into 200 watt speakers. So I don't feel the need to get those 50 watts extra. They probably won't hear a difference. I've been listening to a lot of movies for the last, I don't know, how long have I had this receiver, guys? I don't remember. A month or so? Three? I have no idea. I've been listening to Atmos for a while, though, because my receiver before this had Atmos, the Marantz 7009, which is like the 2015 model. I don't remember. And I've always used the height version of Dolby Atmos. I will never, and I recommend you to never, go to the modules that you sit on top of your speakers and they fire up to the ceiling and they bounce back to your listening position. Now, even if that works, guys, how much decibels how many decibels are you losing when it fires from here to the ceiling who knows and then how many more decibels are you losing when it bounces off the ceiling up here and comes back to wherever you are in your listening position okay same thing for the rears you're losing a lot of decibels so the balance between the i will call this the the, the bottom sound stage and the upper sound stage, the, the, the sound level is different. You have to crank your Atmos speakers up a lot more just so that it sounds level with all the other speakers that are playing. I will never go with that. Also, another reason why I won't go with that is because every speaker is different. Now, some manufacturers have their own module that goes with a certain series of speakers, like Definitive Technology has, has a speaker that fits the perfect dimension of their BP towers that they have. And it's, it's great and all, but that technology is still not there. You have to go to your receiver and you have to crank it up to however many decibels it can go, plus a certain, certain amount of decibels just to get it to match something that's on a negative decibel. It's just a lot of power has to go just to that, just to match it. And a lot of these modules are not going to be super powerful enough to crank it up enough to get it to match with the rest of your sound system. Um, so I went with this the height. I really apologize for the changing of brightness. It keeps auto-focusing depending on if I'm pointing towards the window or not. I'll try not to point to the window. Um, can I keep it in focus too? There is a surprise in this video that you need to listen for. You're, you're, you're gonna love it. I'm, I'm already excited. And uh, I kind of told you guys about it already, and I told you when it was going to happen, but it's happening tomorrow. So there will be a video tomorrow, I promise, of the surprise. So stay tuned for at the end of the video to hear the surprise, and then stay tuned tomorrow to see the surprise. Anyway, can't get off track anymore, guys. Height, they, they do very well. I have, these, these are Harman Kardons that I got from one of their old home theater in a box setup. I got them off eBay, got four of these for $60. I wanted some Atmos speakers. And um, what I did was wire them as, new, as normal. And um, they have wall mounts, but they don't angle down. They don't angle down. So I didn't get the wall mounts. I decided just to do this, just this old rinky-dink um, little, little thing with jigger where you just put, 
put something underneath the speaker and then it tilts forward. So you're kind of just making it lean forward just by that. You can't tell that it does it. All the speakers are leaning forward so they're pointed down towards the listening position. Oh, by the way, this is new. I don't know if I like it or not. Yeah, it feels comfortable. It's also not, it's, I don't know. The camera makes it look differently than what it really is. Anyway, you just point them down so that they fire down to you so that you get direct firing speakers. Um, in ceiling speakers will probably be the best way to go if you have the ceiling and you have the money. Um, mine, as you can see, kind of a barn shape, kind of, what do you call this? Like a, what is that? Hexagon? I forgot, I don't remember these terms for, I don't know what these things are. Um, trapezoid, I don't know. It's been a long time since geometry, and that was like, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, um, it has that shape to it, so putting speakers in the, in the ceiling, it wouldn't be too bad. You could probably put... One right there, one right there. Skip this whole middle section unless you wanted to put that God speaker right there in the middle and then one right there and one right there and point it here. But that's too much work. It's too much money and this house is a rental. You can't do that. <laughs> and I'm going to leave this house very soon this year. So go to my own apartment. So I don't want to go crazy in here. So I just want to talk about the effects of it being height. It's perfect. It's very nice. Having it pointed down to you is awesome. It's, it, it adds, I don't know, it doesn't necessarily add direction direction to the sound, because I know it's it's a non-directional, I think. Um, but it, it's, it, does, it doesn't sound like, oh, the bird is chirping over here. Oh, the butterfly just flew over here. Oh my gosh, the plane just came from the back right. It just sounds like it's overhead, like it's supposed to. Not necessarily pinpointing where it's at. You don't want to do an, you don't want to pinpoint things necessarily. I mean, you want them you want them to come from the left if they're from the left on the television. You want them to be on the right if they're on the right of the television. But you don't want to be able to look over at that speaker and know that speaker is doing it. Kind of like subwoofers. If your subwoofers are too loud, here's how you know. If you can hear where your subwoofer is at, it's too loud. If you if you hear the bass and it integrates perfectly with the rest of your sound stage. It's perfectly, it's perfectly blended. You want that to be the same on the Atmos speakers, no matter what configuration you have. You want it to be the same. You don't want your aerial effects to be higher than your ground level effects. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. And having them up here and pointed down to you is awesome. Now, on the receiver, I'm not going to go and show you it. too many settings to go through, but I do have um, all the speakers are practically on negative dBs, except the heights. I have them a lot louder than everything else because... It takes a little bit more power to get um, from the top to, the, to down here to the ground level. It needs a little bit more amplification. Uh, the speakers are not too loud. I don't, I don't even know how many watts they are. They're over 100. I don't remember how much more. But um, I do have them up a substantial amount more than the rest of the speakers just so that it blends well. So you have to blend it. You can either turn your soundstage down or you can turn those up. I chose to turn those up. And the soundstage stays the same however YPAL put it. So that's awesome. So if you don't feel like you have to go in wall or in ceiling, you don't have to. You do not have to. I, I, I would tell you you should if you have it. Why not do it that way? That's how it was probably intended. That's how they do it at the movie theater. Do that. If you have the ceiling and it's not too high. Um... But this is a really good alternate to do. Very good alternate to do. It sounds amazing. I love it. It doesn't... It, it blends well with, like, your rear channels and then right up above it is that. You can still tell that it's over the head opposed to just kind of being a mushy section of sound here. It, it does It does really well. Same thing in the front. You can tell when it's up here and you can tell when it's down here. It's amazing. And that's because it's pointed down. Now, I haven't tried it when it's just pointed out. That speaker doesn't have... This This thing that I showed you right here, that I use it to, to angle it, it's actually supposed to be up there right now. Um, but when I do angle... I, I might try them all not angled, kind of just firing up, just out, and see how that sounds, too. That might be cool. I don't know. Just something I can play with. But I've always had it tilted, and it's been great, so I might not change it. But, I mean, why not? Why not try it? It's just a simple switch. But that's that. Um, it's, Atmos is an amazing... This is an amazing new feature on for sound. Uh, I actually let me take you to the living room real quick. I just got a movie. I'm a little bit late. I know everybody's heard of it or seen it or both. Hacksaw Ridge, 4K Ultra HD, HDR, yada yada yada. Dolby Atmos in it. 
it, that should really come through strong in this room on this system. On this system, I haven't really. I've been watching some movies, not really anything cool. I've been watching. I watched Rings. I just finished Rings. I just finished Bye Bye Man. Um, so I'm gonna get something that is actually 4K and yada yada yada. Now, before I tell you the secret, let me tell you something about these SVS subwoofers. Now, I've had these for a while, and I'm still amazed by them. And if you're still amazed by your speakers after having them for a while, then these are good speakers. These are their entry-level speakers. You can get these for like 417 at the lowest. These things, that's total mess, yada, yada. That, th these things are awesome, dude. Those 19 hertz rated is true. I, sometimes when I'm not in my listening position, I'll sit back here, is where I stay, where I sleep at, and I'll just watch YouTube or something, and, you know, sometimes a car audio video comes on, and the bass that comes from these subs is amazing, even at low levels, and what's really cool, get a, get a external, what is it, not external crossover, but an external equalizer, on this Yamaha, or on Yamaha's Aventad, I don't know about the RX models, but the Aventage, you have the ability, I wish this was to stay in focus, you have the ability to go in and tweak your frequency ranges on every one of your speakers that you have, you can go in and change the dB for 25 hertz, 31 hertz, uh, I think 34 hertz, and then like 45 hertz, 60 hertz, yada yada, for every speaker, I have cranked up my 24 hertz and 31 hertz on both subwoofers, and left the rest of the frequency range alone, and why did I do that? Once you get really low in the spectrum of the speaker, its its drop off is substantially, substantially, substantially. There we go. Substantially bigger. Like it just drops. You just you just lose a lot of dB as you start getting to its lower ranges of its of its frequency response. So I crank those up so that it's still I can still hear those as loud as I did. You know, it's it's thirty hertz, forty hertz, fifty hertz range. And it's awesome. Do that if you can. It's not going to mess with anything. You're going to have really low end that blends well with its 50 hertz, 60 hertz, 70 hertz, 80 hertz. It sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. So even when I watch movies late at night sometimes, like one or two, and I turn the volume down to just enough where you can hear it but nobody else can. But the subs are still rattling the doors. Like it's amazing. You're not even, it's not even up. So hand, hats off to SVS. For making a simple for that can just it's so musical and so 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 it's so uh, it's just th get these actually don't get these get the PB two thousands because those are amazing too I want those those are my next ones that I'm going to get I thought about PB thirteen PB sixteen I don't think I'll ever have a space that big and if I do I'll, I'll just get one eventually but PB two thousand is where I want to be the power to size ratio is awesome also hats off to Yamaha for having a feature where you can tweak. Like that. That's amazing too. That's made a difference. Go in and manually tweak your stuff. Your ear is the is your best friend. You can have all the electronics you want to, and all the equalizers, and all the 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 microphones and and auto setups. But your ear is is the thing. That is the best tuner you can have. So go back and tweak what they do to your likings. They'll get pretty close for you. Go ahead and fix it. Now, last thing, the surprise. No, I love Samsung. I had a Vizio before Samsung. I had two Vizio TVs before Samsung. Then I had a Samsung. And now, I'm going to LG. I'm going to LG's OLED 55 C7P. There's 2017 OLED televisions. I bought one. I found one for $18.49. That's a lot. But you should go look at what everybody else is selling them. It's a lot more. 1849 they used to be a lot more then tv look this is how then the samsung is lg is is 10 times thinner it's crazy their wallpaper series their their big series their 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 highest brand your 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 flagship the same panel on that one is on their entry level so to speak tv the b7 um, the difference between the B7 and the C7 is cosmetic. The only difference is the speaker system and the stand. I'm pretty sure that was it. And then I'm pretty sure when you go to the E7 and the G7, this sound is also the only thing different. 
I think it might be a few other things. I didn't really look into that because I didn't care about that. And then the wallpaper, obviously, same same panel. So the same picture across the whole lineup. But the difference between that one is obviously the wallpaper is absolutely microscopic. It's so thin. It's so amazing. Literally, it's smaller than a picture frame. You put it on the wall, and then you have a small little cord that comes down to your sound bar, and it's just amazing. It's eight thousand dollars. You're never gonna get that. It's ridiculous. But that is that was an that was an amazing TV. So. I'm getting the C7. I'm getting it tomorrow. It was supposed to be here Tuesday, and then on Tuesday they changed it to Friday. So I've been kind of, <sighs> I've been kind of sad about it because I was so excited. But it's here tomorrow. I will make a video. I will make a lot of videos on it. Um, I cannot wait. I have the the Hawksaw movie just for that, just to test out something um, on the TV. I can't wait to see it. This is an LED screen i've never seen oled in my life so i'm about to be blown away i can just tell i'll use my v20 to record that's the better recorder with the better microphone and the better picture i will use that so everybody can try to get as close to uh what i can what i can see what i, what I experience i'll record in 4k of course and we're all gonna have some fun i probably won't do a demo of a movie in here i don't know it depends how much fun it is but just stay tuned for tomorrow for tomorrow lg 55 C7P. Check it out. Go look at it. It's amazing TV. I recommend it to anybody who wants nice, 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 best in class 2017 OLED without going too crazy on the wallet. So check that out. If you really want to go crazy, then go to the wallpaper or go to the E7 or something like that. It's pretty amazing. LG, I've, I've heard a lot about you. I've watched a lot of videos about you. I know what you are about. I've studied, I've researched, I've read reviews. I cannot wait. This TV is A1. So it will be here tomorrow. So next time you see this room, it, this TV will be gone. I'll actually, I don't know. I'm probably going to keep it because when I move out, I need a TV for the bedroom and for the living room. This phone does really bad at focusing. This is, this is a terrible video now. But anyway, let's end it here. Um, add me on YouTube. Add me on YouTube. <sighs> add me on Xbox. I'm on YouTube on Xbox. Add me on Xbox. My name is different now i don't think i've updated on on xbox now or on on youtube it is x space lyricist space x so x and then you space and then spell the word lyricist and then space and put another x and none of it's capitalized so check me out it's actually i don't know if it's capitalized or not you'll find me um be here tomorrow the tv should be here in the early early afternoon maybe a 10 o'clock 30 11 ish and i'll make a video i won't upload very quickly it'll be probably pretty long because i'm going to unbox it and then put it together and then make a separate video of it after it's put together so there should be two videos tomorrow and they upload pretty slow because my internet's crappy so they'll be here for you guys late tomorrow into the next day just keep your eyes open have your notifications on subscribe if you haven't subscribed because big things are going to happen in this room i need you guys to be here i need your support i need your ideas your comments your everything because so far everything that you've commented about i've fixed or i've added so i listen to you guys so bring me some feedback maybe we can watch a movie in here bring some popcorn bring your own drinks and uh k-pace guy is out <laughs>